Morris's Christmas Stocking It was Christmas Eve and Jane and the Magic Hamsters were very busy. Jane was making some of her delicious mince pies, Morris was decorating the Christmas tree and Doris was hanging up everyone's Christmas stockings by the fireplace. I wonder what Father Christmas will bring us, she said. Father Christmas, said Morris as he tied the fairy to the top of the tree. Surely you don't believe in him? Of course we do, cried Doris. Everyone knows it's Father Christmas who puts presents in our stockings. On Christmas morning, Morris and Doris and Jane rushed downstairs. All the stockings were bulging with presents, even Morris's. See, cried Doris, Father Christmas has visited us. She opened her stocking and found some nuts, an orange, a woolly hat and a new tin of magic moonbeams for making hamster spells. Hooray, said Jane. I've got some jelly babies, an apple, some paints and a pair of stripy socks. Aren't they lovely? What have you got, Morris? Morris opened his stocking, but all he found inside were some old pieces of newspaper and a note. It said, If you think I don't exist, I'll cross you off my Christmas list. Signed, Father Christmas. I think it's just Grandpa Wizard playing a trick on me, said Morris. I think he filled your Christmas stockings. I still don't believe in Father Christmas and I never will. Just then, there was a terrific puff of smoke and stars flew all over the sitting room. It was Grandpa Wizard. Instead of the purple robe he usually wears, he was wearing a red robe with white fur round the edges. He looked just like Father Christmas. Ha ha! I knew I was right! cried Morris. It's just Grandpa pretending to be Father Christmas. Come on, Grandpa, where's my stocking? I don't know, said Grandpa, but I've brought a visitor with me. Why don't you ask him? Merry Christmas! said a deep voice from the fireplace. Look, it really is Father Christmas, cried Morris. But you don't believe in me, said Father Christmas. Oh, I do, I do now, said Morris. Are you sure? Oh, yes, said Morris. I promise. Here's your stocking then, said Father Christmas. Morris looked inside and found a banana, a whistle, a new magic hat and a book of songs. Thank you very much, Father Christmas, he whispered. You're very welcome, said Father Christmas. Now, how about one of the songs from your songbook? Oh, yes, said Morris. And he and Doris and Jane and Grandpa all stood round the Christmas tree with Father Christmas and they sang and sang till it was time for bed. <laughs>